Hey, what's going on, good people? Today, we're going to talk about yearly physicals. Hey, what's going on, good people? It's your boy, James Harris, founder of a movement called Mental Heal, which focuses on men's overall wellness, their mental health, as well as their physical health. And I'm also the author of a book called Man, Just Express Yourself, which is an interactive planner guide for boys and men to better express themselves. Definitely appreciate everybody who went out, got your copy. Um, the month of June, it was 15% off, so I hope you took advantage of that. Um, and it was 15% off just for the simple fact of so many different things transpired in the month of June. Of course, it's Men's Health Month, of course, it's Pride Month, PTSD Awareness Month. Um, so I just wanted to ensure that I was doing my due diligence to have men to be able to have access to the information. Um, so definitely thank all the partners out there who went and got this tool for your partner, uh, the parents who got this tool for their, you know, the young men that they're raising. And of course, salute especially to my fellow colleague therapists, men's health professionals who got this as a tool to do interventions. Um, or a conversation started within your practice. I definitely appreciate you. Um, just, hey, be sure to like, share, subscribe um, to this channel, please. And uh, submit me your questions. If you got a topic or something you want me to discuss, I definitely can do that. Um, but today we talk about something, one, because a lot of men tend to neglect their bodies in addition to other things. But of course, um, this is part of the reason why I started Mental Heal, to be honest, uh, talking about yearly physicals. Um, a couple of people within my immediate circle didn't get yearly physicals and it, they could have had a lot of prevention to other illnesses and things like that. So we're going to get into it. Um, but if you out there and you don't know what a yearly physical is, it's pretty much an annual physical exam that is essential to keeping your body running like a well-oiled machine, pretty much. Um, I, I definitely go yearly. Um, I try to go around my birthday time, which is like that March time frame. Um, and if something else is bothering me before then or after then, I definitely ensure that I, you know, relay that to my uh, healthcare provider as well. I'm a veteran, so I go to the VA. Um, we're not going to talk about how those long, long lines are in addition to other places. Um, but you can probably get a yearly physical at any urgent care or if you don't have a, a medical provider that you've been dealing with. Um, the benefit, though, of uh, yearly physical is definitely paying a visit to your doctor allows you to address specific health concerns. Even if you feel like you don't have any, you definitely probably still want to, you know, just get that history going of you attending yearly just to reduce or prevent different things uh, like chronic illnesses to keep your body. Make sure that you're in the optimal health. And at, at a certain age range, you can definitely want to ensure that you get these. And we're going to discuss that coming up. Um, unfortunately, like I said, a lot of guys really don't go to doctors or see healthcare providers, um, not including mental health providers. Of course. So, you know, they tend to avoid seeing a doctor and, and unless the situation uh, is warranted. Like, I heard a couple of people say, unless it's coming off or I'm bleeding to death, I'm good. I ain't going to no doctor. You know, so to each his own. But I definitely want to ensure you to... Uh, go to the doctor because it could save your life. It can definitely help you to prevent certain things. Um, for some, nothing short of uh, a detached limb, like I said, or a possibility of bleeding out will get you to step foot into a medical facility. You know, uh, and, and some people, when they play yearly sports, they get those physical exams for the sports team. So, I mean, I guess that's something better than nothing. But physical exams are able to give you the opportunity to build a relationship with your doctor to see someone who is familiar with your potential medical history you know so hopefully again that you are charting this you know to to have that paper trail going in case something happen you follow that work or in the community or some people can know like oh send them to this specific doctor his doctor can you know review the charts and see what potentially happened uh, most annual exam physicals uh they're pretty painless. You're in and out in most cases unless you have specifically things that you want to discuss with your uh, provider. Um, and of course, if you have a good doctor, complete, be completely honest about things that transpired in your past, uh, previous annual physical exams, um, because it can help you achieve, you know, to, to stay sane, to stay in, in good sh uh, shape. 
not only from a physical standpoint, but from a mental standpoint as well, because the mind and body is definitely connected. And a lot of things <clears throat> medically can happen from the mental side and can affect your physical side and vice versa. So it's definitely important to get a physical exam. Um, again, you establish a relationship with your doctor. If you happen to get diagnosed with something scary a few years from now, uh, you will be grateful that you had a doctor to whom you can trust and to give you that information, not only because they've been seeing you on the regular, but their rapport is there for them to say, hey, listen, I got some not so great news, or um, we might have to do some surgery, or I found this mass, or whatever the case is. You wanna hear that from somebody that you've been going to, opposed to just up randomly now you're in the hospital. You know, um, I mean, it's gonna be scary either way, but being around somebody that you are comfortable with can lessen that fear. Um, because these, you know, you got your, your primary care doctor is pretty familiar with the benefit of like your overall health. They can definitely assist you. Um, and they allow you to discuss your general health with them. You know, whether it's your, nutri your nutrition, um, or medications that you probably had before, you don't need to have a life threatening condition or to, to seek medical guidance. Um, you know, some people who's specifically men who skip out on those annual physical exams, miss out on the opportunity to talk to that doctor casually about general health concerns, you know, from discussing um, skin irritation, you know, rashes, or um, just, you know, like if you got um, like dandruff, you can talk to your doctor about that and they can refer you to a, um, of course, if you got skin issues, they're gonna refer you to a dermatologist, just little things, you know, but it's so many other ones. Or they can get you specific medication um, of course, your physical exam is a good time to bring up any health issues that you may have hand on your mind, whether it's weight gain, you're not sleeping properly, all those things are important. Um, definitely get a physical exam because you can identify areas that you need to improve on. Your doctor would definitely tell you when it comes to your health that everyone uh, has room for improvement, of course. You know, where people will continue to evolve. So whether you need to stop smoking, learn to cook healthier meals, you know, um, take better care of your skin. Excuse me, I know I had an issue with exfoliating my, exfoliating my skin. So, um, you know, now I go to the dermatologist, they prescribe me some specific uh, lotion stuff, you know, but all of those things I wouldn't have known that were there unless I went to my yearly and got the referral. You know, um, a healthcare provider can definitely create a long-term strategy to help you achieve your overall health goals. Um, and also, like having a yearly physical can assist you with staying current on your vaccinations. Not even talking COVID, not even talking um, other like vaccinations like the flu or things that you probably feel that you don't need, but a lot of people don't know that you need additional meningitis shots. You know, I've known several adults who died from meningitis because they didn't, you know, get the additional shot. Um, send a doctor every year to ensure that you're up to date. They can let you know, like, hey, I'm looking at your record. Uh, you got your XYZ coming up. How do you feel about getting it? Uh, whether it is flu or whether that's any other Im immunization, um, thanks to improvements of healthcare technology, you, you probably can even get it on your phone now or email um, specific records. Um, so definitely take advantage of preventative health screenings is another benefit of having a yearly physical um, of course, the CDC does a lot of information with tracking now, specifically because of COVID. But before that, I, I know they wanted to do more surrounding the numbers based on heart disease because that's a, one of the number one killers among men, specifically African-American men within the United States. Um, so we definitely want to ensure that we get our physicals, uh, you know, so they can talk to you about the risk factors, um, ways that you can lower your cholesterol, seeing a different doctor every year. Of course, they can assist you in, you know, just preventative things like checking your blood, checking your cholesterol levels, um, screening your skin. Like I said, there's so many different factors that go into heart disease that we don't even think of, like additional stress outside. Those things, of course, uh, ways and things that you can do to reduce your stress levels by seeing a mental health professional can get you that referral to your primary care or your primary care can refer you to a mental health professional to, re to lessen your chances of high rates of stress, um, 
you know, hypervigilance, all of those things that are happening can go simultaneously on the physical side and the mental health side. But of course, if you get your yearly physical, they can determine which one you need more of, um, if not both. So there's a couple of different things that you can expect when you go on to get your yearly physical exam. Um, so pretty much, I'm going to just tell you how it is when I go. Like I go, I check in, they know me by name, being that I got a history there. Of course, I've been going, you know, for years now. Um, so some paperwork I have to fill out just to ensure that it's all up to date information in case I move or in case I uh, switch insurances and stuff like that. So, of course, the paperwork you have to fill out. The paperwork is just basic questions about your own health. But, of course, when I first started going, they was asking me about my uh, family history health because some uh, medical issues can be hereditary. So it's definitely important to have that history as much as you can. Um, next, of course, your nurse will bring you into this room. You get your height. You get your weight. Um, they check your temperature and then from there you'll be seated to have your exam, wait on your doctor um, and they probably get your blood pressure as well um, just to ensure that that's overall good. I know for me, I'm a runner, I, I work out often, so my heartbeat or heart rate is normally like limited and they always ask if it's a different nurse or a new nurse, like is anything wrong with your heart like from the past? I don't know, I'm a runner. Um, so, you know, so then they'll flip back and see like, oh, okay, cool. It's always this low or whatever the case is. Um, so just overall medical history, your doctor will, you know, come in the room and then just start asking you different questions, of course, based on the paperwork you feel about. Um, some of those questions might be related to if you smoke and you drink and you use, uh, drugs, taking prescription pills, like how you exercise and how's your diet, just different things. Um, to be honest, make sure that you are honest with answering the questions to the best of your knowledge. Um, this is a good way, opportunity to ensure that you have all of the health concerns that you're experiencing answered. Um, physical examinations are pretty much a way to change the medical growth that is uh, easily for your doctor to check many different parts. So by you being honest with the paperwork and answering the questions, they can know what directly to go to and it'll get you out there faster too. Um, in, in some cases, unless it's, you know, you're at a certain age where they need to do a more thorough or detailed exam. Um, in addition to the general inspection of your, your manhood area, um, the doctor will ask you to, you know, turn your head, uh, you know, cough side to side, making sure that you don't have any hernias um, in your stomach or your testi testi testicle areas. Um, you know, they might want you to squat just to make sure that you got the full range of motion within your legs. They might make you press against their hands. Um, you know, just basic stuff. Press up while they pressing down just to make sure that you got the full rotation within your shoulders. Um, they'll actually check your heart, your lungs, uh, peek into your eyes, your ears, your throat, um, your, your abdomen area, of course. They're checking the size of like your internal organs as much as they can. Um, and of course, again, they're testing that motor function within your reflexes. Um, they got this little thing where they, you know, they hit your knee or hit your elbow just to make sure that you are responding the way you need to respond in certain cases. Um, and of course, to have preventative screenings and your lab results, those things are definitely important. And depending on your age, your medical history, your doctor may perform additional tests. Um, it's one test that they have to hook you up um, with all of these, um, the, the terminology is escaping me, but um, they do that to ensure the rhythm of your heart is pretty much steady. Uh, for example, guys who are above the age 35, which I'm 35 now, um, have an increased risk of heart disease, which I spoke of. So, you know, they want to ensure that your labs, like for me, I go a week or two before my actual physical exam just to make sure my lab results are back. So when I'm at, when I'm in the actual physical exam, the doctor can process with me the different results from the labs, if that makes sense. Um, so if I didn't do the labs a week or two weeks before, he would know to alert me on, hey, your cholesterol is a little high, try to moderate X, Y, Z, or um, looking at this blood where your know, vitamin D is low, you know, so certain things. So you definitely want to ensure that you are uh, doing those labs uh, a week or two before and they probably prep you um, with all this information So if you at that increased risk of diabetes, you know, they can check your blood levels and, and see that 
Um, they'll probably tell you to moderate your diet, stop eating certain things, increase your exercise, increase your uh, water intake. Other commonly ordered tests definitely can include screenings of your prostate. Um, you know, want to make sure that you don't have any aneurysms uh, or STIs, STDs. You know, those things are definitely important too. So you want to ensure that that physical is there you know I, I heard several guys say i don't need to get a, a std or sci check because my partner doesn't have any so until they get some i, I know i don't have any okay um if that's how you feel but get it get it yourself you know do do me a favor do yourself a favor and do your family members and your co-workers and everybody who love you a favor by getting your yearly physical um so to prepare for your physical you probably just want to ensure that you um, don't be afraid to be real with you. It's, it's a physical. It's, it's not a pass or fail test or exam. You know, so you want to con con consider your overall medical history. So if you need to call moms up or pops up and just say, hey, did anybody in our family have X, Y, Z? Um, you know, try to get a, as thorough medical history as you can. And, you know, you're probably older now, so you don't remember when you had to stay in the hospital for a week when you were seven. But your mom might, your dad might, they might get uh, information. So hit them up, get all the information that you can. Um, and of course, this will include also your vaccination records. Um, I know for me, I'm military, so all of that stuff was pretty much transferred over. You know, I was fortunate in a good situation. Um, you also want to alert them or let them know if you have any allergies or you had any surgeries. Um, because that can also affect how they treat you or, you know, if they see something out of the ordinary, it'll be information that you already know. So make sure you're relaying that information. Um, another way is that you can prepare for your physical is also like be proactive. Write a lot of questions down before you even go there. And if you have prescriptions or vitamins and stuff that you take and take a picture of them because some of the words be super long and hard to pronounce. So you want to ensure that your doctor is um screening you for the right the proper dosage and the proper medication just in case so it's good for him to be able to look at it or her to be able to look at it and say all right cool is this medication or is this vitamin that you're taking i can see uh that your blood levels might be a little bit different um again so that family history is definitely important too so identify generic conditions uh that may run in your family for instance you know a lot of diabetes and hypertension uh, my mom suffered from many strokes, you know, in, in her lifetime. So those things are important because I want to ensure that my doctor know that because if there are any issue of, uh, that I can prevent uh, from me having strokes, I just want to, you know, be able to bring that to his attention so he can advise me on certain things I can do. And of course, we all talked about the blood levels um, that they can do. So Again, what I do is bring a list of questions when I first started going. But now, since I go yearly, a lot of things are already there within the history. And since a lot of healthcare records are streamlined now to the computer, uh, to technology, everything is there. So even if I'm seeing a different doctor because my doctor's on vacation, they can just pull the notes from last year or from my previous appointment, which is a good thing. Um, but again, if this is your first one, make sure you write down a list of questions that you have in advance so they will know and so you can better prepare. The questions probably going to be related to your diet, your exercise, um, your mental health, of course, your overall wellness, which is important. Um, so definitely ensure that you write those things down and don't be embarrassed. Like it's their job. Your insurance company is paying them or you paying out of pocket. So take advantage of it. Um, the less your doctor has to pull information from you, the more successful your appointment will be. It'll go faster if you can say, hey, doc, my, my leg is um, giving up when I, when I walk up the third flight of stairs. They can, all right, so cool, let me take a look at it. But if he's doing an exam and then he bump your leg and you tense up, you're like, oh, what's going on with your leg? You know, he had to, he had to find that. You wasn't forthcoming with the information. Um, so if the pain in your knee is running, you know, your weekly basketball game or your soccer game, that's something that you should definitely tell your, your doctor. So then he can probably send you to the orthopedic doctor is for them to check your bones or, you know, for them to even look at your feet and say, oh, cool. No, I, it's like that because the, you need uh, more art support in your, show, in your soles or your shoes or something. So all of those things tie in. Don't just think like a physical is a physical. Those referrals are important. So keep in mind that your symptoms also don't need to be restricted to just physical. 
um, mention everything to your doctor. You know, let them know that you've been feeling tired or irritable, um, which are classic symptoms too in most cases for depression, especially with the males. Um, <clears throat> And another thing that I do to prepare is I, I, I wear sweats and I wear a t-shirt just because it's easier for them to have access to everything without me having to, you know, unbutton the belt, then take off my jeans or whatever, then my shoes. So I normally wear uh, sweats, flip-flops, and a tee just so I can get in and get out. You know, it's easier that way to change it to the gown if they want you to change it to the gown and or uh, for you to do those physical things, like I said, the squatting, uh, the pushing, the resistance stuff. You know, it's easier in sweatpants or the gown opposed to like jeans or khakis. Um, again, make sure you wear something that's comfortable for you. Like if you want to do it in jeans, then do it in jeans. But for me, it was way more easier to be in sweats and a tee and flip-flops. Um, and depending on your age too, you might have to consider fasting. So your doctor will probably tell you before, again, I'm, I'm 35, so I fast uh, within that 24 hour period, just so my labs can come back accurately. You know, I don't want to eat an hour before I go to my physical, and then it's like, oh man, your uh, cholesterol is sky high, or your, your diabetes levels is sky high, or any other things that they check for, cholesterol, um, and there's so many other huge terms that they can tell you um, but if you don't fast, those test results will be thrown off based on that. So again, if you're above like the age 35, I believe, you know, you're at high risk for, of course, heart disease and your doctor can request a uh, future test or more tests just to ensure that you're in a position uh, to not have further issues. So uh, submit me your questions, like, share, subscribe. Um, hopefully you're going to get a schedule. You're going to see this. You're going to schedule a physical exam. Uh, if your partner is watching this, uh, put that pressure on that man in your life to schedule his physical exam uh, because it can save his life. It definitely can be beneficial. Uh, and that's what we want to do. We want to ensure that we're educated. We want to ensure that we're passing as much knowledge as we can. And one way to do that is to know what's going on with your body. You know, you don't want to be uh, early 30s and drop dead one day because you didn't get things pointed out. You know, we see so many different examples now on the news, 35 year old man uh, died suddenly. Look at the couple celebrities over the years that them died early 40s and 50s from a heart attack or from aneurysms and different things like that. So get your physical exam. Uh, if you don't want to do it for you, do it for your family members, do it for your, your co-workers, the people who are living vicariously through you because it, it affects them as well if you're not well and healthy. So appreciate your time. Check me out on the next one.